Hello, fabulous TAs. A very frustrating challenge teaching support staff face is unclear expectations. Not knowing exactly what is required of you can create unnecessary stress, undermine your confidence and leave you feeling unsure of how to navigate your role effectively. When expectations aren't clearly communicated, it can affect not only your performance, but also, of course, the support you provide to students. A lack of guidance can lead to misalignment with the teacher's objectives, inconsistent support for students and frustration as you try to balance multiple responsibilities. I'm sure you can all, um, uh, what's the word, um, understand that's not the word, but anyway, <laughs> Uh, I, I'm sure you can all, um, I'm sure that reflects how you will feel. Don't know, too much coffee this morning. <laughs> However, you can take, appreciate with the word, <laughs> however, menopausal, that's what it is. Um, part post, long post, <laughs> but it still has an effect. Um, anyway, however, you can take proactive steps to improve the situation by fostering communication, seeking clarity and developing strategies to manage the unknown, you can enhance your role and feel more in control of your day to day tasks. So in this video, we'll look at 10 practical ways to tackle unclear expectations, each with three simple steps you can implement implement right away. I can see how this video is going to go. <laughs> <clears throat> OK, so we're going to look at the 10 different ways. So this is get clear on expectations. Number one, initiate open conversations. So here's how to do this. Set up regular check ins. So ask your class teacher for short informal meetings at the start or end of the week to clarify priorities. Ask for feedback, request specific feedback on your work to understand whether you're meeting expectations. Propose a system for updates, suggest a shared digital or physical space, e.g. a notebook, I have loads of those you could buy, or Google Doc for ongoing communication about tasks. <clears throat> now, before we go any further, um, you don't have to do all of these and not all of these will be right for you. So just um, watch the video, see what I suggest uh, and see which ones um, are, would, would be a better fit for you. Get clear on expectations number two. Clarify your role in writing. Here's how to do this. Request a written outline. Politely ask for a written summary of your key duties and responsibilities from your teacher or Senko or whoever would be responsible in your school for doing this. Create your own job role guide if no formal document is available, which it should, but if it isn't, take the initiative to write down what you believe your role encompasses and seek confirmation. Refer to job descriptions. Compare your daily tasks with the official job description to ensure alignment, which is always a, you know, a good idea to have a copy of that job description on hand because schools are tricky customers. They can often change, they you know, move the goalposts immensely. Get clear on expectations. Number three, proactively ask questions. Here's how to do this. Prepare key questions. Before meetings or at the start of the term, prepare a list of questions that can help clarify expectations for different tasks. Focus on priorities. Ask which tasks are top priority when your workload feels unclear. Seek examples. Ask for concrete examples of what a successful outcome looks like for particular tasks. Yes, because, you know, you can you can have something written down, but, um, you know, that statement of what needs to be done might look completely different to you than it does to your teacher. So, you know, always ask for that kind of clarification. Examples are great. Get clear on expectations. Number four, observe and learn from colleagues. Here's how to do this. Shadow experienced TAs. If possible, if there's time, observe how more experienced teaching assistants manage expectations and communicate with teachers. Share best practices. Engage in discussions with colleagues about how they handle unclear guidance. 
collaborate on tasks, what work alongside another TA or staff member when managing complex tasks to learn different approaches. Now, sometimes when I was working part time, I would go in free of charge. Yes, I know there's no reason why you should do this. I used to. When I felt appreciated by a school, I used to go in a couple of hours free of charge um, and just shadow another TA. If you really, you know, you, you, uh, you can do that if that's something that appeals to you, but it's not something that you have to do. Get clear on expectations number five, align with the teacher. Here's how to do this. Ask for lesson objectives before supporting a class of or individual, clarify the teacher's goal for the lesson. Some teachers are great at giving out the lesson objectives, others aren't. Ask, see, see what response you get. Use visual cues, create simple reminders or visuals of yourself, for, for yourself, that align with what the teacher is focusing on each week. Take notes, during team meetings or conversations, jot down key points to ensure you're clear on expectations. Get clear on expectations number six. Establish a routine for key duties. Here's how to do this. Create a daily checklist. Make a list of essential tasks you need to accomplish each day to stay focused, even when expectations are unclear. Use visual schedules. Create a timetable or flowchart of your key duties to give structure to your day. Review at the end of the day. Reflect on the tasks at the on your task at the end of each day and note anything that requires further clarification. So if you're a very visual person, you know, flowcharts might be the thing for you. If you love a list, then make a list. I actually do have, you know, notebooks that contain checklists. If that's helpful. Get clear on expectations number seven. Seek professional development. Here's how to do this. Attend CPD, continuing professional development sessions. Look for training opportunities that will give you clearer insight into your role. Join TA networks, connect with other teaching assistants through forums, workshops or online groups like my TA in control free group, Facebook group to exchange advice and solutions. Share learning, bring back ideas from CPD sessions and share them with your colleagues and the class teacher to strengthen team communication. Now, you know, uh, I used to be sent on a lot of training, um, but you know, that was like 20, 15 years ago. Training is, um, it can be expensive. So you may, you know, have to start looking online. There's lots of online training. Make sure you, you know, you choose a good one, um, but you don't need to rely on the school to send you for um, CPD sessions. Get clear on expectations number eight. Bring, break down big tasks. Here's how to do this. Divide complex tasks. Break down large or vague tasks into smaller manageable parts that you can tackle step by step. Confirm next steps. After completing a task, check with the teacher or Senko on what should come next. Use bullet points. When presented with vague instructions, ask the teacher to break it down into bullet points to make it easier to follow. That's what you do for a student, wouldn't you? So, you know, do it for yourself. Get clear on expectations number nine. Stay organised with a planner. Here's how to do this. Use a planner. Use a dedicated planner to track key tasks, intentions and any follow up questions you need to ask. Review priorities. Write down the top three tasks to complete each day based on what you understand about the teacher's goals. Add space for notes. Include sections in your planner for any notes or questions that come up during the day. I have lots of different planners that will help you to do all of this. Uh, I will put a link to them in the description section below this video. Get clear on expectations number 10. Build your confidence. Here's how to do this. Acknowledge your progress. Keep track of your accomplishments, no matter how small, to remind yourself of your contributions. Affirm your value. 
regularly remind yourself that your work is as a TA is critical to the success of the classroom and student progress. Seek reassurance. Don't hesitate to ask for positive feedback when you feel unsure. Teachers often appreciate the chance to acknowledge good work. Well, they do if they're the right kind of teacher. Some teachers are a pain. But, you know, you know when you're working with a good teacher, if you're working with a good one, you know, just, just get them to just reassure you that you're doing okay. And you can do the same for them, of course. OK, so my final thoughts on this is, you know, feeling uncertain about your role and expectations can can be daunting. But with proactive steps, you can regain control and build confidence in your abilities. Remember, you are an integral part of the educational team and your contribution significantly impacts students' learning experiences. By fostering clear communication, organising your tasks and continuously seeking clarification, you'll reduce uncertainty and feel more empowered in your role. Trust in your ability to make a difference and always remember that it's OK to sleep, seek clarity. Doing so benefits both you and the students you support. Keep growing, keep asking and stay confident in the incredible work you do each day. But as I said before, don't think you have to do all of these things that I've spoken about in this video. Choose one that feels easy to put into action and go from there. I hope this video has helped you. Please let me know in the comments if it has or if there's anything else you would like to know. Now, I do have many resources that you will find invaluable in your role and they will help you with some of the things <clears throat> I've talked about in this video, like using a planner to keep you organised and creating checklists of your daily duties. Uh, because I have lots of planners, I have notebooks containing 100 tips for new TAs and bonus checklists. So those books have checklists of what you may, may be doing if you work in a primary school or a secondary school, and then you have um, a blank checklist. So you can write your own checklist. And I have 99 intelligent question books. Um, they help you ask the right questions about the role you're doing. So if you're working one to one with a child and you've never done it before, I've got 99 intelligent questions you can ask. The same for working with autistic children, the same about behavior management. And my latest one of these is um, 99 intelligent questions for the role of teaching support. So if you're new for, with, to teaching support, you know, these are the questions you can ask um, so that you don't feel quite all at sea. And, you, you know, I'm giving you intelligent questions to ask and to get the answers for. And in my TA and Control Etsy shop, I have a brilliant PDF that includes the TA professional standards which outlines all the different parts of your role. So this was made to create clarification for teaching assistants um, by a, a body of academics in education. <clears throat> so it's got a list of practically everything that teaching assistants um, could uh, be involved in in school. And you can uh, look at that and tick the things that you know you're doing and question about the things that you're not doing and gradually hone in on what your actual role in your school is because a teaching assistant you know in is different everybody's version of being uh, a teaching assistant lsa ca hlta there it's all different so you have to hone in on what your role is now you will find links to this resource um, and the books i've talked about in the description description section below this video Here's how to get to the description section if you're not sure. On your phone, tap on the little V under the video to expand the description section. And on your laptop, click on show more to expand the description section. And I've given you little red arrows to show you where to tap and click. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you know when I've created a new video to help TAs work at your most confident best. Liking this video and any other of my videos really helps to push it out to other teaching support staff and I'd very much appreciate your support with that.
please. It, you know, it means the world to me and it means that YouTube send my little channel out to more and more um, members of school staff. Don't forget to check out my resources in the description section below. Um, and a very, very big thank you.